of the Community Music School. I'm so excited to take you on a tour today. Um, so when you come right into our school, you see our lobby, which looks a little different now that we're in these strange times. We don't have any waiting chairs or anything set up in here to kind of minimize people waiting around and interaction. And the first face you see when you walk through the door is our registrar. Her name is Melinda. Hi, everybody. Welcome. So you can see that we have our studio space six feet apart. So our teachers and our students are always going to be at least six feet apart during their lessons. We are requiring that everybody who steps inside the music school wear a mask, and we're asking that everybody sanitize their hands. So let's go down the hallway and I'll show you our studios. So the first studio that you come to is Studio 2, and this room is used if you are going to take a violin lesson or a cello lesson, you'll have your lesson in here. So the first thing you'll notice when you come into the room is that we put tape down on the floor to signify that this is a space for a student taking a lesson and this is a space for a teacher. So you can clearly see that this in the middle is kind of a no-go zone. We don't step over the lines and we try to make sure that there is at least six feet in between each, each student and each teacher. All right, so let's go down the hall to our next room. So all the way down at the end, five and this is another room that we have set up with our extra safety measures again this is used for violin lessons also a music therapy room so if you have any interest in strings or music therapy you have another great room with great space and a great view of the outside Nashua River and then down the hall this way is our classroom now if you're interested in piano lessons guitar lessons you would take a lesson in here so in our classroom, we have a little bit more space. We've got two pianos set up so that our piano teachers have a, their own piano and our students have their own piano. They don't have to worry about sharing anything, sharing music, sharing keys. It's all kept really separate. And the same with our guitar students. So everybody gets their own amp, everybody gets their own instruments. It's extra special now because we really do have it set up so that the teachers and the students can really play full parts together, an experience that they didn't really get to have when they were sharing a piano in the past. So this is the annex. So let me show you our drum studio right here. So again, we've set up our drum studio so that our student and our teacher are spaced safely. Each student gets their own drum set all to themselves, and our teacher will also have his own drum set all to himself. So they're able to really show a good example of how they want their students to play. And also they can play along with them, which again is something that they weren't able to do before coronavirus. All right, I have another room to show you right through here, our piano lab. So this room used to be where we would have our group classes, our early childhood classes. Right now, it's used for all sorts of lessons. So you have guitar lessons in here, music therapy sessions happen in here, Early childhood music can happen in here, and also some piano lessons can happen in here. This room has a lot of great space. There's lots of room to move for little ones to dance around on their side of the classroom. So really great music gets made in here. So this is our recital hall. This is where we typically hold our recitals and performances for our private lesson students and our group classes. Right now it looks a little different. We have it set up for piano lessons because all of our performances have gone virtual this year. But if you take a piano lesson, there's a really good chance you'll get to take it in the recital hall. And what's really exciting is we have two beautiful grand pianos set up, of course six feet apart, so that your teacher is able to play on their own piano and you would be able to play on this beautiful piano that was donated by Daryl's Music Hall. Typically when you come for your lesson, you are going to hear music coming from almost every room in this facility. Players of all levels and all ages come here to take lessons and it's a really wonderful place to be. Give us a call at 603-881-7030. Melinda will pair you with the best teacher for you and the best program for you. We're so excited to have you with us. It was so wonderful to meet you. We hope you have a great day.